Good morning. Welcome to Relax and Paint with Donna DeBerry. All right. I like to say relax and paint with me. <laughs> Makes it easier. So I don't know how you're feeling this morning, but I've got a bright sunlight starting to come out on my window. And I'm thinking about what would be something that you might like to try today. So I still have my pajamas on. I usually get dressed and put something else on, but I thought... You know, you're probably getting up and having a cup of coffee or like I would a Diet Coke. <laughs> but um, I just thought about um, something that would be easy for us to do. I thought about um, some of the things I think about when I wake up. I'm grateful for the blessings I've gotten uh, that I have. Thankful for those first. And then I have lots of things I asked for. <laughs> so... Um, I was thinking how grateful I am that we have social media today, that I can talk to you guys out there. And I love that you shared some amazing things about your lives with me. And that touches my life. And it knows that I've got a little niche here that might help you. Um, each time I go on each week, I want to give you something that you might say, I've been having a problem with that. Oh, I've never tried that, all right? So those are the things I'm thinking of. And any of the stuff I show you, you can go to one stroke, O-N-E stroke dot com. And there's recordings that you can purchase of classes that you download. There's all kinds of packets where you strip right on top of my stroke. And um, lots of other things I've been blessed with over the years to have that helps your painting be easier, all right? And guess what? I have certified instructors all over the country and in other countries. So that's the good thing about YouTube is we have lots of people in other countries that want to be part of our program. I have a master's in my program. Like we have certif certification one and two, elite. Um, then we have other like oil painting certifications with water-based oils. And the thing that's awesome is I know if I'm stranded almost any place in the world, I can call somebody I know and say on my list of people that do one stroke with me and say, help. <laughs> and I have in the past, I climbed into a lady's bed, um, her guest bedroom that I didn't even know. My husband was freaked out, but her and her husband picked me up at one in the morning and um, I don't even remember Newark airport, I think took me to their home, just uh, was willing to feed me. I just wanted to go to sleep, climbed into the bed, covered up with the blankets and thought, I feel so safe right now, instead of staying at the airport for three days. And so they took me back to another airport the next morning, so sweet of them. And I was able to get to where I needed to be. Um, I got snowed in in areas that was able to call people I did know. Um, so we have people from all over the world watching us. So how cool is that? That's what social media has done for us. So I've been very blessed. I want to share with you um, just something new today. I'm going to work with daisies. And I actually had somebody say, show me how to do daisies with a couple of different brushes. All right. So I think it's kind of crazy, but people all over the country say, oh, Oh, I don't know how to do daisies. <laughs> like, really? I use a chisel edge to do my daisies, and I think they're really, really easy. So let's do um, some daisies right now, all right? And just relax. Think about it. Try it with me, and or think that you're going to try it with me, and try to come back today a little bit later, even tonight, and paint some. And show me. Show us on our group, our Facebook group would love to see you. All right. So let's go to my overhead camera and we will start painting my way of doing daisies. All right. So there we go. Now I'm going to come, I just have some, this isn't construction paper. This is a slick paper. We have this nice paper that uh, we'll pull out and put that, go back in. It's got a slick finish to it. Um, or 
You can use cardstock. You can use scrapbooking paper. Most scrapbooking paper has a nice finish. Um, I'm going to show you. This is one that used to. I used to have a line of scrapbooking paper. So here's one that's kind of smooth and nice. All right. So, and those are always on sale. So go check them out. All right. So. I'm going to show you a couple of different brushes. I have my paper towel ready. I have shown you how to use um, the rake and the, and the fan brush, and so many people showed me what they've done with it. That makes me happy. <laughs> I hope it makes you happy. All right, so I want to show you that I'm just, I have a dampened brush. Um, this is a round brush. This is size eight round. I, let me start over again. I put it in water and then I laid it on the paper towel for the water to run out. And then I'm gonna come right into the side of the puddle of paint and get both sides, all right? Now, since it's rounded here, lots of people say it's easier for them. So this is what I want you to see that we're gonna do, let's come a little bit closer. We're gonna do, one and you gotta lift up guys to be small okay so i'm gonna do 12 o'clock three o'clock six o'clock get some more paint pressure release and nine o'clock and then you can just put one in between but usually i do two in between so one, two, and I'm just filling in in between. But what happens with this is you're getting streaks in the white. Try to put up, it's got a glare, I guess, from the light out that's coming in. All right. too bright. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you that you can go all the way down to a small size brush, a small round. I have other sizes right here. This is a six round and I can put the same thing is you're going to do the clock and you're going to lay out pressure release and the problem people do is that they make it big all the way to the middle and it doesn't look good so this is if you just want to make a small daisy there we go that's the round brush now i can take my uh, a small scruffy and i can pounce a little teeny center. I can do it two ways. I can use the handle and dip dot one dot or I can dip so I dot one dot or I dip multiple dots in the middle. Okay. Little dot. All right, so that's one way you can do it. All right, now that's with a round brush. Now what I want to show you is this is the one many people like to filbert because they like the rounded tip. So I'm going to put a filbert brush. So look at it. It's not flat. It's got a big curved tip. Here's my flat. And this is my filbert. It's rounded. Because this is a tin filbert. All right. So I, when I'm loading this one, I could do white on one side and yellow on the other, actually. All right. So I'm going to push down. And then I'm going to kind of stand up and twist it. So every time I go over here, I pick up more paint. Okay. I'm going to... If this was my clock, I would do three, six. Now, this depends on what size 
what size daisy you want. Okay, so you can see where I didn't turn it well here. And I gotta push harder here. All right, now if I just do pure white, you can just keep going around like this, but what happens is that people lose their shapes. Now, yes, that makes the outside tip okay, but I like a different look. So I will show you. This, uh, sometimes we have a problem where, look at that, it's all full in the middle. Okay, so I can come in with a scruffy brush. Look, I'm tapping my small scruffy and I can get the center of this with a dark green at the bottom. All right, and then I can just barely tap it here, put one there. But now what has to happen is I'm gonna get a little teeny bit of white and tap it at the top of this one, All right? So I also had pink ones, but so I don't like that fullness, but let me show you what, what people do like. They like doing a push, lift, and they like pulling this one to this side, this one to this side. So these are like big commas, right? Now, watch what happens. Now you're gonna da do a slice, slice, slice. Now what that looks like is, is it's tilted. So you can rewatch this. You can sit there and turn it back on later in the day and go, okay, I'm going to go back and see how she really did that and stop me and rewind it. Okay. Now we'll put heavier yellow in the center. Okay. Now lots of times people take a little liner with even licorice and put a little teeny dots all in here. It gives you kind of a different look. Now that's with the filbert. And I do like to tell you that's not my favorite. And round's not my favorite. The little round's okay. But I'm going to show you what I use. And that's my 12 or 10 flat. And I'm going to start all over with white. Okay. And we're, let's do our clock again. So let's take you over here. So you're okay. So I'm going to do touch, lean towards the center and pull. Now I like to put a little dot and say, that's where the center is. Now the key is you're going to touch, lean forward, and then lift. When you lift, you see I'm here putting pressure, and then I stand up. When you lift, you get thin. Touch, lean, lift. Touch, lean, lift. Now when you're looking at this really close, I don't know if you can see as close as me, there's all kinds of little streaks in this daisy petal. And that's exactly how the daisy really looks. If you have a real daisy that um, you might be fortunate enough to grow in your garden, but in Florida, we usually go buy them. Okay, so all of those were pushing and lifting. Okay, now then I can put the center, but I have enough room to put the center. All right, here's my scruffy again. I'm going to tap. All 
not necessarily a circle. I kind of do an oval. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. The light's giving me a bad time this morning. All right. So now let me show you another little trick about the daisy. All right. Now what's going to happen is I want one that's kind of tilted. So I'm going to do one, three, and so 12, three, and nine. All right. So then I'm going to do the petals in between. And I can do three if I want. And I can leave a space in it so it looks a little bit more natural. Oops. Okay. Now here, I'm going to just do a real short one. Short, short, short. Okay, so that's tilted, right? Also, we'll do little buds. So here's where we're going to. So I touch and I lift, touch, lift. Okay, and that's one that's just starting to open up. And let's do another one. So just practice. This is with the 12. I've got a wild hair there. I'm sorry. I don't know why it's sticking out like that. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, I like to do these where I'm going one, two, three, four, five, maybe one here. And I like to come in and do a shorter one. And the white paint will actually stroke. I don't know if y'all can see it though. Let me do one with some pink. All right, so here we go. One, two, three. I think the white and the black is just too much. Okay, so look, let's pull a little one halfway. Okay. Now, different ways we can come in here and just put little bits of yellow right in the middle with a little liner. Or I can dab little bits of yellow with instead of the scruffy, depending on my size. And then you're going to come with that same flat brush. Now watch what happens. Is this something y'all didn't know? I don't know. I just wanted to show you really quick that you can take and use my clock little formula and you can accomplish. Oops, this one's here. An easy daisy that you can do with little effort. All right. So also you can do a real slick. Here's a daisy, but it's green. Look at this. Put touch, push forward and stand up. And that's the same daisy and you can make that your leaf. How fun is that? So all you're learning on here, this is why I'm surprised when people say, oh, I can't do this because all you're learning is how to do a chisel stroke. All right, so this is what we're doing. We are touching, touching, pushing down, leaning on this edge, and standing up on the chisel. Okay, and that, that little stroke can do so many, so many things. All right, so because I'm having a little bit of problem with that, with the black and the white, I'm going to try and let's see how it looks on the green. And I'm just going to do a, a couple little daisies before we go and let you see today if you will maybe pick up, uh, there's a lot kind of wallpaper, I mean, scrapbooking paper here. I even like to do it on a plaid. All right, so I'm going to touch, lean, and pull in. Remember, this is where I'm going to touch, lean, and stand up. 
I hope you guys have a great day. I hope that whenever you watch this, you'll go look at some of the other quick little lessons. The Relax and Pain is just supposed to be short and fun. Go see if there's something you like that I've already taught. All right. Now, here is a little heavier. So that's a real skinny daisy. Here's a heavier one. And all this is with my 12 flat. And I, or an eight flat or a six flat, but I love just using my flat brush because I can do the stem, the daisy, everything with it. I can also do a, a little skinny like an aster. There's daisies that look like that too. Okay, just a little. And then you can do with the smaller brushes, you can come in and do a couple different kinds. I've done these blue, but that's a chisel edge stroke. And before I go any further, let me show you something really cool. All right, I'm gonna push down and I can do another one and another one. And then I'm gonna come right here with a couple more strokes. And guess what that's gonna be? A butterfly. Yeah. All right. So one more thing here before I put in my leaves. I'm going to do one, two, three. This is why I couldn't show you very well on the black. Is that I'm going to pick fresh paint and I'm going to go shorter and in front. And you can literally see the difference than the pat back petals and the front petals. Okay, so I'm going to wipe off the white. This is all white, but it's going to look really good. I'm going to come right in here. I just wiped it. I didn't wash it. I can even pick up some yellow or I can pick up some white. Have you seen me do that? So this is now multi-loaded. Okay. All right, so I'm going to come right here in the middle. You notice my little finger? How many of you use that little finger? I touch it, I get it ready, and my little finger pulls it for me. You have to practice that. Touch, lean, pull your little finger. So can you practice that? Touch, lift, pull. All right, and then one more right here. I grab it, and then I pull it through. All right, now, I'm going to slide and stand up. And because it's double loaded or triple loaded, you get this great look. See that white? All right. Little skinny petals. All right. I'm going to show you one leaf before we go. See, I don't quit say donna this is supposed to be short and sweet <laughs> okay watch this one two three four five one two three four five and then pull us down that kind of pretty now let's put our centers in one more time i'm going to pounce a little bit of yellow pounce a little bit of green this is my small scruffy all right it comes in my value pack. It's a 1059 value pack. It's got lots of flats and a couple of scruffies. All right. And liners. It's got everything you need to start. I also have my signature signature set. It's early. Okay. Are you relaxing? Now, I don't want you tense, and I don't want to be tense. So what I want you to do, take a deep breath, a big, deep breath. Just relax your head back and think, what am I going to do today? And at the end of the day, you can say, did I paint today? <laughs> That's what I'd like you to say. Did I get to paint today? All right, so a really simple little project. 
Now, would you like me to make that into a butterfly for you? Dragonflies are easy too because they're the same stroke, one long stroke and then a body. I'm gonna push down and that was it, oops, right? <laughs> touch, lift, touch, lift. There you go. And show me what y'all have done with it. Show me your, uh, oh, I want, I know. Tell me your favorite brush after you've tried it, a filbert, a round, or a flat. We'll have a good day. Love you. Bye-bye.